So, white guilt is coming at us kind of hard. And I think we're starting to go a little off the rails. Making a decision doesn't always mean you're making the right choice. Um, this is about Jenny Slate. <laughs> and I'm a fan of Jenny Slate. I like her and my blind brother. I enjoyed her in House of Lies. I actually was very happy she was in House of Lies. Uh, I liked her in the Venom movie. I liked her in Gifted. Uh, she was one of the better parts of Hotel Artemis. <clears throat> uh, I enjoyed her on Saturday Night Live. That was when I first uh, was introduced to her. I'm actually a pretty big fan of uh, Jenny Slate. I think she's awesome. I think she's amazing. But quitting your job because of <laughs> because of black people erasure. All right, here we go. Cue the intro. So, we have Jenny Slate speaking that only black people should voice act black characters because it's erasure. I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much she said it's erasure. Now, the character she's talking about that she plays is on Big Mouth. And on Big Mouth, she plays a biracial Jewish and black girl. So right off the bat, her saying this is basically saying that the blackness should only be identified because she's playing something that is, or someone that happens to be mixed, biracial. So first, let me explain what erasure is because I feel like we're starting to get a little too deep off the rails in a really bad way. So let's say um, that thing that happened with Harriet Tubman, I think a while ago, and they wanted to have Julia Roberts play Harriet Tubman because they just looked at her name and said, well, she sells. No historical accuracy or whatever. Um, Cleopatra, when it was played by Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, or let's say they say, hey, you know what? Let's do a Frederick Douglass movie with Tom Cruise. That is erasure. There is historical accuracy to it. There are things there and that's just wrong. But these have historical meaning. Now, when it comes to animation, on the other hand, if I'm seeing a character and they're being portrayed as black, white, Asian, or whatever, and I hear the voice, their voice and their cadence doesn't tell me their race. You're a voice. As a voice actor, your job there is to sell your voice, to sell your vocal talents, to be the best voice for it. Now, I'm going to go down a list because apparently some people think, for some reason in the weird animation and anime community, it seems like people don't realize there is a lot of black voices in there. And don't get me wrong, there always could be room for more of any culture uh, being into these avenues. But I notice a lot of people are like, there's barely any black voice actors. So you got Phil Lamar, who was what? Samurai Jack, an Asian man. Aquaman, Caucasian. Not Jason Momoa, but if you go and play Injustice. Um, Kevin Michael Richardson, who played what Joker off the Batman, who is a Caucasian character. Uh, Skulker, Servak, he also played a Shredder. Once again, depicting a Japanese person. Um, you have Cree Summer, who on Voltron, for example, played the, the new Voltron played Hagar. Now she's been doing voice acting forever. Cree Summer's amazing uh, with her voice acting and stuff. Um, Inspector Gadget, she was Penny. She was Hippolyta on um, the new Wonder Woman movie. Um, there's Keith Silverstein. I, I, I've seen him before. I, I can't think of anything he was on. Dave uh, Fenoy. Uh, I think there's a Brock Peters, Arthur Burgard. Let me see. I think I actually wrote some down. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you got like Kimberly Brooks who did Bueno Girl and Luna. You got James Earl Jones who voice acted Vader. You got James Avery who played the Shredder, 
a Japanese character. Regina King, who played Riley and Huey, just because she was awesome. Uh, Michael Che has done voice acting. Uh, you got Carrie Payton. He's normally, his most iconic voice role is Cyborg. I think he's played Cyborg more than any other character. Uh, literally, if you look at the list, like in Lego movies, regular things, cartoon shows, um, but he also played Aqualad. But then again, Carrie Payton, I know in one of the Lego movies, or I think the DC thing, I, I think he played uh, a white version of Shazam, the wizard. Uh, he also played uh, on Big Hero 6. I know he did like some of the ninjas. He did like Yamagoons and uh, the Cap Guy and stuff like that. And they're all white characters who talk. Um, Eddie Murphy played Donkey or anything. Now, and, and it goes on and on. Where my issue comes in... By that logic, Jenny, that you're using, and, and Jenny, I hope you reconsider. Uh, a lot of people like Big Mouth. I've watched a little bit of it. I liked it, but I have a long list of stuff I'm watching, so it'll get there eventually. <laughs> but uh, that's like saying, well, uh, only black people can write black characters, or only Caucasian people can write Caucasian characters. Do you know how many shows and things have Caucasian writers and Asian writers? You can... <laughs> You can empathize with the experience. Like, you can still write something and see it. Yeah, sometimes it'll be different depending on who writes it, but that doesn't change the fact of, uh, for example, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, I also think, if I remember correctly, there was Caucasian people that did Family Matters. Those shows do not change for me because there was either white creators or white writers on them. Those shows are still just as impactful for me as they've ever been. I've been actually re-watching some of them recently just to with the climate going on and seeing things like that. So, and I and don't, this ain't coming at Jenny. I freaking love Jenny Slate. I think she's awesome. Uh, I just love seeing her and stuff. I, I think she's a very talented person who after the, to me, the unjustly firing but of on SNL has gone on to really keep her career rolling. And I've enjoyed everything she's done that I've seen her in so far. But this whole only black people should voice black characters, no. I'm going to associate, I may associate a voice with that, but then that's like saying in anime, only Japanese people should dub Japanese characters. Yet, as you can clearly see, a lot of Japanese characters are done by black people in cartoons. Like I said, Sh Shredder, a Samurai Jack, the voice acting talent is just that. As a matter of fact, it's probably, it can be in some aspects, not all, some aspects very, very fair. Because it doesn't really matter if you're black, white, woman, or male. It matters if you're, this is a situation where your voice fits the role. And on top of that, you're playing a character that is Jewish and black. You're Jewish. Just because you're white doesn't change the fact that you're Jewish if you're going by your own logic. It's just, listen, things like this can actually do a reverse effect of what is needed. I get that there's a lot going on in the climate and people are being very sensitive towards situations that are happening with black people. Like, I, I totally understand. But you... You, you, you can't do everything that way. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Okay? If, especially if no one's complaining about it. Don't, don't, don't sit there and start making these weird changes or saying statements like that. No. It should not be. I've written, when I wrote uh, my comic, for example, it was with white characters, um, when I wrote my book back in school, and my mom still has the book, there's a black character in it. The black character is not the lead character, though. The lead character, um, going back, if I remember correctly, in my head, was actually half Asian. Um, if I specifically, because it was like this time thing. I wrote some time adventure. Uh, but if I remember correctly, I think I made the main character. I didn't put it in the book, but in my head, they were half Japanese and half white. And I did this back in like fourth or fifth grade. Not because I was like, oh, I'm not proud of a black person. No, I felt the character, that's the character I was feeling when I was making the character. So 
Yeah, I can. If I'm writing something, I can think of race. It depends on if it's established or if I'm creating it. It's about the creators behind the things. That's where, yeah. But when it comes to voice acting, I just named some. Black people are pretty well represented in the voice acting community and are known. And I think you trying to help something that isn't really a problem is actually a problem. So I would like Jenny Slate to reflect on what she's doing and maybe reconsider and realize that that's not erasure. Erasure is taking something completely, like something historically accurate or has been pre-established. So for example, if a white person voice acts Black Panther in the cartoon, but you can't tell the difference, does that change anything? You're seeing Black Panther, you're hearing a voice you're associated a voice to Black Panther, but you're still viewing the character as a black person. Your mind is going to say that is a African king. Not, hmm, that voice actor is white though. Like, this is just, just not how that registers. At least not with me. I mean, if it does with y'all, okay, but not to me. Now, if you go and take Black Panther, the live action thing, and change out Chadwick Boseman for, like, let's say... <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, now that's going to be a little bit of a problem because you're now completely taking and that you're over, like, like that's erasure. It's changing the representation of who it is kind of thing. I, I, white folks, calm down. It's okay. If you're, if you're trying to help, if you're, you're doing the best you can, you're, you're not being ignorant towards people, you're not being racial towards people, and you're just trying to be there for people, uh, it's appreciated. But the level that you're taking it, chill please, just chill. <sighs> and think before you do, because being this lost, you're gonna create an uh, insane backlash that's just not necessary. This is the Geek Protagonist. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay real. And I'll see ya. Hey, thank you for visiting my channel. This is the Geek Protagonist. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, please, It'll really help me out in the channel if you actually share these videos, if you like what I'm doing. Um, please hit that bell notification. Hit it click, click. Uh, this way you won't miss any of my videos. Also, there's a thing on there that says personal and all. Hit the all. Uh, this way you'll get them every time for the notifications. I'm trying to, you know, grow, trying to do commentary about what's going on. Um, and I want to thank you again. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay real. This is the Geek Protagonist. I'm out and I'll see you.